All right, hey, what's up folks? Jesse here, and I'm just getting back from a fishing trip today out in the bay. As you see, I've got the boat all washed down and everything. And I have some leftover bait to deal with. Uh, we were fishing for sheephead, tall tog, drum today, and of course crab are a primo bait to use for that type of fish. And there's almost inevitable you're always gonna have bait left, which is what I have here. I've got some blue crab that I've had on ice packs all day. Most of them are still alive. And I also got some fiddler crabs since they're back available now that are left over. I probably got about two dozen left. Fiddler crabs are usually just keeping this little guy right here. It's perfect for them as long as you put a little bit of uh, cardboard in there with them. They usually don't kill each other too bad. And of course the blue crab always keep on ice like you see right there. Just a little tip for you to help save you money of course because they're expensive. I do get lucky my buddy Jim he actually catches them in the marshes for us and it's not uncommon to go out and take you know several dozen fiddler crabs with us especially when we're sheephead fishing but what I do when I get home is I basically just dump them out and pull all the claws that we popped off and any of the dead ones and all the dead pieces out and give them a good rinse and I just throw them in a little tote like this. It's just a little clear plastic tote and um Put a few pieces of cardboard box, a six pack box, whatever you got laying around the house, egg crates, you know, wet some of it pretty much and just throw it in there. And you see, they'll just have a happy little community in here. About uh, every couple weeks, you just take them and kind of wash them, give them a bath, crazy as it sounds, if it's gonna be that long before you use them again. I've actually kept them alive like this for three, four months before and only lost maybe, you know, 10 crabs out of several dozen, so. It's a good way to save money and it's a good way to keep them alive. I do warn you, they do stink. Um, the lid here comes in handy, but even still, it's definitely not something you're gonna keep in your house or probably not even in your garage. So that pretty much takes care of the fiddler situation. Over here, what I do for these is they're pretty much frozen right now from being on these ice packs. They're still alive. I'll sort through them and see which ones are alive. Of course, they're good to go. And the ones that aren't really moving, you just kind of smell them see if they smell bad if they smell bad you just chuck them if not then just batch them out and freeze them is what i do put them in containers you know like four or five at a time and freeze them and they're good to use like that for the next time you go out fishing of course once you thaw them out that second time that's pretty much it if you don't use them just chuck them in the river on your way back in but it's a good way to save money especially considering you know a lot of places like oceans east they charge two bucks a piece for these guys so anyway that's what i do definitely helps out in the long run as far as expenses and the frozen blue crab as long as you freeze them alive or freeze them fresh work just as good as live ones and once again these fiddlers they'll live just happy little lives in here for several months to the next time you need them when you're out fishing but anyway just wanted to share that with you hope it helps out